In this video, we will show you how to pack a bicycle in Shipbikes.com's XL Bike Box Shipper. Once your XL Bike Box has arrived, open up the outer box to reveal a large box with blue ink on it and two smaller cardboard inserts. Place the two smaller inserts to the side and straighten out the large box with blue ink on it. Orientate the box so that the text is upside down because we have to seal up the bottom first. As you would a normal box, fold the smaller tabs in than the larger sides, while being careful to follow the numbers. The outermost flap should have text that reads bottom on it. The next step is to tape up the bottom of the box. Start with three strips of tape along the length of the box, then put a strip of tape along the ends. This serves as a structural connection on the bottom of the box. Then run a long piece of tape along the length of the box, then following with the sides. Then take the two black plates with the two inch protruding screws and stick them through the bottom of the box on either side. Place a piece of tape over the plate. This will keep them inserted when we turn the box right ways up. Then take the smaller cardboard inserts and fold the two long sides in and the side flap. Insert the piece of cardboard into the top of the box as shown. Make sure that when you insert them, each end of the box has one side flap. Push in the handles on the outer side of the box inward to lock the cardboard inserts in place. Your next step is to remove the front wheel. You will then need to take the screw assembly included in your kit and remove the wing nut and washer. You will then take the screw and thread it through the fork plate then replacing the washer and wing nut after. Attach your fork to the mount by placing the fork end dropouts on the screw as if it were the skewer and screw the wing nut in. If your bike has a through axle, remove the rubber pieces from the mount and thread the axle through as normal. You will then need to take the one inch wide velcro strip and weave it through the blue metal plate as shown. Place the metal plate in the inside bottom of the box and screw it in using the metal wing nuts included and the PVC wing nut tool. Then lower your bicycle into the box. Make sure to match up the fork mount plate with the protruding screws on the bottom of the box while ensuring that the center of the rear wheel is above the blue plate. You will then screw the fork mount in place exactly like you did with the blue plate. Then. Take your front wheel and remove the quick release skewer. If you have a through axle, this does not apply to you. Then, take the wheel end caps and insert them into the hub. Once this is done, tie your wheel with the non sprocket side facing the cardboard with the white ties included in your kit. Remove the pedals and seat post saddle assembly. Then, place them in the drawstring plastic bag included. You will then tie the bag onto the side of the box as shown with the white ties that are also included in your kit. If your handlebars cannot fit, remove them from the stem and tie them in line with the bike as shown. Once your bicycle and all of its parts have been put into the box, tape the two inserted cardboard pieces together. You will then fold in the two smaller flaps first moving on to the long flaps, ensuring that the flap with the ink on it is the topmost flap. Tape up the box just like you did the bottom of the box by first starting with the three strips of tape, then moving on to a long strip to seal the edge of the box. Repeat this step along the sides of the box, ensuring that the box is closed. Before you send off your freshly packed XL bike box, Make sure to fill out the return to sender information so that, in the event your package cannot be delivered, it will be sent to this address. Once you're ready to create your shipping label, go to shipbikes.com and click the pink ship a box button. Then select cardboard box, and when prompted, enter the dimensions of 72 by 14 by 32 inches with the measured weight of your box. Then all you have to do is fill out the ship from slash to information and wait for your label in your inbox. Thanks for watching. If you need any more assistance, feel free to give us a call at 
1-877-323-4083.